Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. In today's video I want to talk about data frames series in JavaScript with Dunfo.js. So if you go to the website of Dunfo.js you get some kind of an information. Dunfo.js is fast and supports TensorFlow.js so if you are working already with TensorFlow or want to go work with TensorFlow to create some kind of a neural network and try to use it within Node and in the browser, well, Dunfo.js will be a great tool to work with data, with um, tabular data, data series, data frames, and so on. All right, so first of all, we have the exploring uh, Dunfo.js. So first we print out a series, uh, Dunfo.js is an open source JavaScript library providing high performance, intuitive and easy to use data structures for manipulating and processing structured data. So if we then execute this, for example, you get here a table, right? So here we can do dfd.series, one, three, five, undefined, six, eight, so on. Then we can create a series for a tensor. So here we can get the TensorFlow lib. So in uh, Danjo FS, Danjo, it's not Danjo FS, <laughs> it's done, it's Danfo.js, Danfo.js. Right. Uh, well, then you can very easily add a tensor and then create a series out of it. And then we can just print it out. It's a promise. So s2.print will lead to 0, 12, 1, 34, and so on. Of course, if you have some data like this, JSON data, and you want to have it in a data frame, then you can very easily do that by just having new DFD data frame and then your JSON data, and then you can print it out. What you also can do is work with data ranges. So for example, here we have our start, and here we have our end. We have a period, four. So we get here four results, and we have our frequency Y. Then we can say that A is the dates, B will be BVAL1, BVAL2, and so on. And we can set data to C, to D, and to E, right? Most important thing is that you just create a data series from data ranges here. So that's that's this one. And then you see here, and the frequency is here. So we have here 2017, 2018, 2019. Again, I can execute it again. It's just the same kind of way, right? We can also use the dot describe to just view the data. It's something that's also very similar towards how pandas is working within Python. Then we can have here multiple data. We have here a column, a one and a column two, and then we have here data frame, data and data two. We have your columns, column one, columns, column two. And then here we have dfd.concat, df list, df1, df2, and then or this, and we can then still print it out, right? So we can very easily concat two data frames towards one. You can easily handle missing data as well, and that's the fill not a number, eh? fill an A, something that you could use. Here you see also that we have the values apple and then count, and then we do a mean function out of it, right? Here you have name, count, and the latest one is the price. Um,
<laughs> it's really funny because here you see your object object and here also object object so yeah you don't have a lot uh, from that but okay um and, and and that's a little bit it so you can really play around with it uh it has great documentation i think it's it's a great thing to um to go forward with uh like i said it has series one of the things is 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 interesting to go forward with it when you are diving a little bit deeper into using uh, tensorflow one of the things that i try and hope to do is having a video together with this tool donefo.js and tensorflow so to dive a little bit deeper into what it can do for you when you're using a neural network and uh, you want to put data in it right <laughs>